All right, the temperature and pressure relationship. We've started out with water and we're going to continue with water here for just a bit, little bit longer before we get into refrigerants. And what I want you to think about here, when they say water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at atmospheric pressure, that means basically if you put it on your stove and heat it up to 212 degrees, it's going to boil. So from this state time forward, when we talk about boiling, I want you to think about it as the change of state because boiling always brings to mind hot and heat and temperature we've been raised with it's going to boil when it gets hotter and in refrigeration the, um, the refrigerant boils at temperatures that to us that seem cool so when we talk about boiling that's change of state and when we talk about 12 degrees Fahrenheit that is uh, heat energy or molecules in motion so the molecules in motion at 212 degrees Fahrenheit will change the state of water from liquid to vapor at atmospheric pressure or on the stove on, in a pot. Now if we put, put a cover on, lid on that pot and we cinch it down and increase the pressure to by 12 by 15 psi now it takes 250 degrees Fahrenheit of energy molecular molecules in motion to change the state of that water from liquid to vapor. Now let's take and uh, drop the pressure below atmospheric pressure put it in a, a little vacuum here and that's what it, this is inches of mercury. Now it only takes 40 degrees Fahrenheit of molecular molecules in motion to change the state of water at 0.248 inches of mercury. So remember that that temperature is energy and boiling is change of state. Now the refrigerants do the same thing as water. They will change state from liquid to vapor and change state back from vapor to liquid depending on the heat that's added or removed. So and refrigerants were designed to boil at lower pressures and temperatures and when we remember boil is change state from liquid to vapor and condense meaning it will change state back from vapor to liquid at higher pressures and temperatures. And each refrigerant is different and when we get a little bit further on in this class we'll talk about the pressure temperature charts and relationship of refrigerants and each one has a specific pressure temperature chart at which it will boil and or change state from liquid to vapor in which it will condense or change state from vapor to liquid. So this is a very important uh, concept to understand in refrigeration that's saturation temperature. the pressure temperature relationship of refrigerants is always at the saturation temperature. Now the saturation temperature is where we have liquid and vapor together in a container. So there'll be liquid on the bottom and vapor on the top. And if we take away just one degree of heat energy it's going to change the state of that vapor, start to change the state of that vapor back to liquid. Or if we add one extra degree of heat to that container, it's going to change the state of the liquid to a vapor. So saturation temperature is the point at which any heat, either added or removed, will result in a change of state. Now, all of the pressure temperature charts that we look at When we're looking at that, we're talking about the refriger refrigerants at the saturation temperature. So you have to understand that that is the point where heat added or removed will change it from liquid to vapor and vice versa. And as, as in the other videos that we had and what we talked about in module one, during the change of state, the temperature 
of the refrigerant remains constant. All right, so we'll get into that some more, but those are some of the concepts that you need to understand and get your head wrapped around. If you don't get this, make sure that you go back and review your text, post it in the forum. I'll get alerted to that and we'll have a discussion and on that. And if you need some help, we can set up some time to meet online live so that we can explain this further and you can ask some more detailed questions. So that's it for this lesson and we'll talk to you later.